Now, if you like your sport fast and furious, then you'll no doubt know that the Speedway season gets underway this weekend. With hundreds of thousands of pounds invested in their new stadium at Ashfield and a new starting lineup, the Glasgow Tigers are gearing up for one of their biggest years yet. And it all starts this Sunday when they take on the Edinburgh Monarchs. Our reporter Alison McCallum went along to the new stadium to take a look. Getting revved up for the start of a new season. The Glasgow Tigers are back, bigger and better, for the 2015 Speedway season. Their stadium has had a £700,000 makeover and this Sunday they'll kick off their bid for glory when they take on rivals the Edinburgh Monarchs. It's going to be tough but uh, you know, I like being put in the deep end and uh, you know, We'll have a good crowd and all the riders are up for it, so you know, if we can uh, come up against them and do good, then it'll set the tone for the rest of the season. I've said to the manager, we need to win. In fact, when we finished here, I'd said, we're going to leave the digger to leave a big hole up there, and if we don't beat Edinburgh, that's the manager's new home. So he's under a bit of pressure. There's new faces in the squad this year, with Dimitri Bears the only surviving rider from 2014. So for those who have never been trackside, how does Speedway work? Well, you, you get three points for winning, two for second, uh, one for third and zero for last. There's only four riders in a race. There's four laps and 15 heats. And then you add your points up and you, you come to a score at the end and that's who's won. It's uh, basically a bit of a sprint, uh, but uh, you know it can get a bit hectic, crashes and passing and it's quite exciting. And it's not for the faint-hearted, with riders travelling up to 70 miles per hour with no brakes on their bikes. I've had a few broken bones here and there, but I had a... Bit of a problem with uh, my shoulder, I dislocated that about seven times. I mean, you can't help some things that happen, but it's like life, innit? You can't be scared of what's dangerous. You just get more of a fill out of it. The seven man squad had been taking to the track ahead of their opening fixture, and while it may be four years since the club last claimed the league title, the riders believe this year it's Glasgow's for the taking. We've got riders right through the, the group that's, uh, you know, really good riders and. Uh, you know, I think we can do a lot of damage away from home and we'll be really strong around Asheville as well. So. Everyone in Speedway is talking about all the changes that are happening at Glasgow, so yeah, it's good to be a part of it. Alison McCallum, STV News. Well, Derek Smith, Director of Glasgow Tigers and Ryder Cosa, join me now. Both of you gentlemen, thank you very much for coming into STV Glasgow. Now, Derek, there's been a lot of changes at Glasgow Tigers. T talk me through what's been happening. Yes, it's been it's been a very eventful winter for the club, uh, Joanna. Um, the club are under new ownership. Just before Christmas, um, Glasgow businessmen Michael and Jerry Facena become owners of Glasgow Tigers and in need of Ashfield Stadium, which is our, our home venue. And it's been a, a race against time, quite frankly, to to um, I install the, the redevelopment programme that Michael and Jerry have orchestrated during the, 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 the during the, the recent months, and uh, to get us to a state of readiness to launch the season on Sunday. And you've had lots, so that's lots of changes, both on and off the track. Absolutely, a, a transformation in every a, a root and branch transformation of, of the whole speedway operation, really. So the, the stadium has has had a. A uh, £700,000 incredible redevelopment um, to, to in introduce much more comfortable surroundings and, and facilities for our supporters. And on track, there's been a lot of investment in, in the team. And uh, in fact, we've been labelled as uh, t title favourites in 2015. No pressure, no pressure. Um, and uh, you obviously, you kick off with a, a Glasgow Edinburgh derby. Does this create as much hype as it would in, say, something like football? It, it does. It, it, it really does. You know, in the same way that you know, we're familiar, we all know people who are absolutely passionate about football and rugby, etc. It's no different in Speedway. And Edinburgh and Glasgow have been around for a long, long time as part of the, the sporting fabric in, in Scotland. And uh, rivals, rivals, and friends. Uh, side by side on Friday, but rest assured we, we all want to win on Sunday. And Cosa, you're new to the team. How much work has gone in both physically and mentally preparing for this new season? Oh, this um, Yeah, this season's been pretty um, pretty hectic already. Um, we had, obviously I'm Australian, so we had uh, visas and they've changed rules and bits and pieces, so we had some visa problems, um, which put plans back at least a month for me. Um, but yeah, physically, um, yeah, a lot of training. Um, on and off the bike um, in the gym and bits and pieces but um, yeah we're, I'm up for it now I'm, I'm here I'm back in the country now I've been here a week now and um, just plenty of track time now and race on Sunday can't wait 
And you, you've raced with a few other clubs in Britain. How does the set up at Tigers compare? Um, oh, it's yeah, the new facelift that it's had is is phenomenal, really. Um, they're um, they've done a lot of work, and the new owners are great to get along with. Um, so far, so everything's everything's running smoothly. And compared to other clubs, I think yeah, they're going to have to watch out for the Tigers. <laughs> And how did you get involved in Speedway yourself? What attracted you to the sport? Um, as a kid, I loved bikes um, and started racing dirt bikes, motocross bikes and stuff in Australia. And then I got given a chance to, to have a go on a Speedway bike and fell in love straight away. So that's how we sort of fell into it. And we, yeah, we just kept chasing and, and finding and learning more. And I'm still learning now. 10, 15 years on. <laughs> <laughs> and all very brave, no brakes on those bikes, as, as we know, as we know. Well, um, what can the fans expect then, Derek, with this whole new setup when they come along on Sunday? Well, we, Sunday is, is, is literally a big reveal. So some, some of our supporters have had a, a sneak preview of some of the some areas of the stadium, but, but not the whole stadium just yet. But on Sunday, we'll open the gates at 3 p.m. Oh, sorry, at 1 p.m. with racing starting at 3 p.m. And supporters of both clubs and anyone out there who's never been to Speedway in a long time or has never been before, I'm sure will be impressed by the new facilities and the thrills of live motorsport right in front of them. I mean, I've never been to Speedway before. Why, why should I go along? Well, we, we, yeah, we, all know, um, we all know something about motorsport, so Formula One or motocross or, or, or something like that, but Speedway, for me, is the jewel in the crown because it's stadium contained, so you can see all the action unfold right before your eyes. You don't miss anything whatsoever. It's very vibrant, very atmospheric, and these guys whiz past at 70 miles an hour, literally just a few metres in front of where you're standing. And briefly, Cosa, what would you say to, to attract people in? Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's exciting stuff. You know, we you know we get four laps done in under a minute, um, and rubbing elbows. You know, a lot of times we could be rubbing elbows for the four laps. You know, and nice close racing, and um, everyone wants to win, so everyone's every, is putting their body on the line. You know, basically, and yeah, it's it's definitely a sport. If you haven't gone to see, it's definitely worth a see. Well, gentlemen, thanks very much for coming in. Best of luck on Sunday. Thank you.